now to news for your safety tonight. It all started with a simple Facebook message. And now, these two men and one woman are under arrest, charged with recruiting young girls online for the sex trade. Pierre Davis, Kendall Dunn, and Alex Manzano were booked into the Spokane County Jail last week, charged with human trafficking and commercial sex abuse of a minor. According to court documents, the first interaction with a child was made through Facebook message. Tonight, our children may be tech savvy, but are you the parents? Well, Spokane police say sexual predators are taking advantage of popular apps to lure our children. Mobile apps like Whisper, Chat Roulette, Tinder, and Hot or Not now accessible to anyone with a mobile device. KXY Force Nikki Torres has been working for you. She spoke with police and is here now with their advice. Nikki? Nadine, a lot of us are already familiar with some of these apps. Many are household names like Fortnite, Musical.ly, and Tumblr. Unfortunately, while these games are created for fun for kids, sex predators are using them to their advantage to contact children. Tonight, Spokane Police have a warning for parents. They're the devices designed to make our lives easier. But mobile devices and the apps that we use can also put our families at risk. They could have um, dangerous results for their kids if strangers are trying to reach out and contact them. Spokane Police is continuing to encourage parents about educating not only their children, but themselves about internet safety. This comes after a local investigation led to three people being arrested for allegedly luring a young girl into the sex trade. Kids are very tech savvy and astute with what goes on on the internet. Which is why police say it's important for parents to also be knowledgeable about what's on their child's phone. Most people are familiar with apps like Tinder and Grindr. They're dating apps anyone can download Download straight to their mobile device. But did you know seemingly kid-friendly apps like Fortnite and Minecraft also provide similar features like messaging? Which have anonymous users, which could be all over the country, but they could also be right here in Spokane. Investigators say the suspects in this week's investigation were all targeting young girls online. An online sting in New Jersey last month busted 24 men using seemingly harmless apps to lure children. Police are hoping these cases act as a reminder for parents to be aware aware of who their kids talk to, whether it's through a computer or a mobile device. For a complete list of mobile apps police say you should pay attention to, you can visit our website, kxly.com. Reporting live in studio, Nikki Torres, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Nikki.